here all the way from New York. Francisco Siaccio. This is not his first time in, our, in the Mississippi Independent Wrestling Circuit. Definitely makes regular appearances all the way throughout the uh, Southeast. But he definitely brings his attitude all the way from the Big Apple. I'm sorry, I passed out. What happened? Oh, not much. All right, Francisco Siazzo in the ring. I'll tell you, but you already know what it's going to work that way, Frank. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been asked to tell y'all. Oh, polite. If y'all don't start showing him respect now, he's going to walk out the building. I mean, that's fair. He's earned it. Let's be, let's be honest. There's not really a reason not to respect him. Are you sure? Francisco. This is the hospitality state, right? I mean, that's what I've heard. That's the rumor. Yep. I mean, that's why we got the highest pregnancy rating in the nation. Wes Warren making his way down to go against Francisco Siazzo. Kind of a bit of a revenge thing going on here. Wes definitely feeling the pain. I mean, when you get uh, when you get suplexed onto the parquet floor, you're not going to just shrink it off. A little run in earlier tonight, but there shouldn't be any hard feelings. This is, a, this is professional wrestling. Absolutely. Hard fought contest. Some people are eager to get involved in matches that they're not actually in. Yep. If you're going to bring what? it upon yourself to get down here and get in the ring, Wes Warren, you better be ready to go because Francisco Siazzo is ready for you. Wes has got a bad back, and yet he's on the top rope. That's not wise. Uh, speaking well, of not wise, this whole match is not team, wise. He's a, what happened to the team of the cavemen, not the wise men? God, did you work on that all night? I really did. I that was amazing. Here. I had to flip to page 33. Did you put it on your wish board? I did. All right, good man. I think West Warren might submit before we even get started. Uh, I mean, that might not be a bad idea. All right, here we go. Bell has rung. Francisco Siazza is ready for business. Lock up, shove off. Adrenaline's only going to get you so far in this one. is not here to show mercy to anybody. He is here to win this match. Absolutely. Um, that's not exactly family friendly, Wes. And Wes letting Francisco Siazzo know that he's number one. And he may be right. The crowd certainly has a lot of belief in, in uh, Wes Warren. They've uh, watched him come up. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Wes has been around first, for a while. His first singles matches, and then he became part of the Cavemen. Cavemen won the uh, Pro Wrestling Ego Tag Team titles a while back. And then lost them to the left hand. Wow. Big chop there from Wes. That was a sonic boom. I may want to check our sound gear here. Really? It was loud. It was loud. But I buy quality equipment, so we're fine. I didn't think he was going to catch it. That's a spicy meatball, you see, because Francisco Siazzo is Italian. It's racist. No, it's not. I didn't say Siazzo was a meatball. Jesus. But you just, shit. All right. Well, there goes that. Oh, my. I think Wes is taking uh, Siazzo on a tour of every corner. Hey, here's this corner over here. Have you seen that one? Oh, Wes dives out of it. Francisco, high knee, slap on the back, drives him down to the mat. There's a kick for your troubles. Driving that knee into the chest. Good heavens. Get that pin. Let's get this over with. Oh, no. There's more to come. Yep. Locked in with a headlock now. Fred and Warren's arm out, stretching that back out even further. Feels good. They have to charge Wes Warren for something. For this. A little adjustment fee. Yep, yep. That's how you. That's how you double your money. 
on these indie shows. There it is. While in the ring, offer chiropractic, chiropractic service. <laughs> Why not? Francisco Siazzo. You're going to see him come out with, with the really hot cups. Next. God, yeah, the little yeah. vacuum formed ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pins. Yeah, if it works for Zack Sabre Jr., it'll work for Wes Warren. Flips what if it around. didn't work for him? Mm, well, take it up with Zack Sabre Jr. I would. <laughs> Wes not giving up. His pride is on the line. Wes making his way back up, driving that elbow into Francisco. Oh, and a high knee stops him dead in his tracks. Seattle knows he's got time here. Yep. He needs to work him over, throws him across the ring, Ooh. right onto that back into the corner. Francisco displaying for the crowd to see a young Wes Warren <laughs> prone upon the mat. Francisco scoops him up. I think we might have a follow away slam here. Yep. Lands it perfectly. Now, of course, Francisco's been around for a while. It's not like this is his first match. Absolutely is not. Absolutely not. Siazzo whispering in his ear. Probably not saying, I believe in you. You can do it. I doubt it. Uh, I still think that's a strategy that some wrestlers should try. <laughs> just whisper sweet just, nothings. Encouragement. Like encourage him. No, you can do this. No, yeah. you should fight your way out of this. No, no. This hold right now. I'm not going to do really. it. I believe you. You're better than this. Yeah, that might work. And then use the other person's finisher on them. That's, oh, I think that's geez. the ultimate humiliation. Wow, that is good, Joe. I don't want that guy. Thank oh, God. You should write this stuff. I really should. But I filled up the whole notebook on those comments earlier. I don't have any room. <laughs> Drawing all those. those I, I wrote it on my hand, but then I washed my hands. So I you gotta quit doing that. Forget, forget what it was. Siazzo wearing Wes Warren down. Siazzo calling for quiet. It's like it's a golf match or something. <laughs> right. Everybody, 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 please, everybody quiet please. down. Everybody. I'm trying to think here. Trying to putt. Ref trying calls to putt. the one. Second drop. Brady's out. Oh, there he is. He's powering back. Oh, you can't keep a caveman down, folks. Well, I mean, I mean, you know, the Ice Age. Helped. Well, this is not the Ice Age. No, it feels like it because it has been. It has been very forever. cold here in Mississippi. It's very true. Warm today, though. And West, hot action here in the way back right up. now. For the ride. Up and down. Just for that quick pin and doesn't get it. Mm -mm. Cisco is confused. He's a bit mad. He's upset. Absolutely. Frustrated. Yep. He may be hangry. I mean, he could be. I used to not I eat before a match. I didn't want something to happen. I'm speaking for myself. You got a pizza right in front of you, Joe. But please but I have don't, to talk. don't eat it. Yeah, don't eat it. Really want me to eat during the middle All of this seven match. of the people who are listening to this would be very upset. Francisco making his way to the second rope. Well, three of them I'm not that concerned about. No, you wouldn't be. Oh, and that knee did not find its target. You know, you try to measure so you get a clear shot with the knee, but. Yep. They say measure twice, knee drop once, and that's, you know, it's not as true they as say? they say it. Who is they? they? They, the people I've heard. And they would be? You don't want to give away your sources? I, I, West, I battling the, back. I plead the uh, 12th Amendment on that. I don't even know what the 12th Amendment is. You do. It's Ask one of Google. them, right? Yeah. West hey, Warren Siri. battling back. Hey, Siri, what's the 12th Amendment? Somebody at home is like, oh, shut up. Here, let's have fun, Joe. Alexa, order adult diapers. Yes. 
I got folks, that's for you. <laughs> West with a quick roll up. Two, three. Wes Warren. Wes Warren. <laughs> Beats Francisco Siatsu with a Siatsu. Wipes the win right yeah. out from underneath Francisco Siatsu. My goodness. Did not Did see that coming. That is a that is a battle back West to the ages. Warren. <laughs> Wes Warren getting stopped at the top of the night here in the mid card, comes back injured and still gets the win over And now he Francisco thinks he gets Siasi. a front row seat over there. Uh, wouldn't you take a seat after that match? I would never be in that match. Well, that's very true. I would hurt myself getting into the ring. Yes, you would pull something. Wes Warren. Pull myself watching this stuff. One half of the caveman. We already saw his partner, Alex, earlier on tonight. Francisco Siazzo is upset. Yes. And with good reason. Yes, absolutely. That's a lot of work to put in in one evening, beating down one human being to have the rug pulled out from underneath you right at the last second. Absolutely. There we go. As we said, Wes Warren is your winner for tonight. Oh, Wes, Wes Warren, Warren has, the has mic. something to say. Okay. So he doesn't know how to turn our mic. Look at me. You're all right. This is a man's game. Oh, well. Wes, you know you got to go to the back same as Francisco, right? I think he's just going to stay at the merch table for a while. I think I, I think I would too. I think I would too. Oh, that wasn't wise. He shouldn't have done again, that. Again, again, I think we've established. Wes Warren does not make the wise choice. No. Nope. He does make the bold choice and comes yep. away with the win tonight against Francisco Siazzo. Indeed he does. It's a man's game. Wes Warren knows that. Cowboy Scott making his way into the ring. Wes Warren taking another bow. Wes, we got a time schedule, he's buddy. Thinking, he's taking his time. We Wes, let we got Francisco a, get the back. We got a schedule, buddy. Here we go. Scott coming to the ring. Ready to announce our next match. Intermission coming up. We're going to be back in just a few minutes. Peace. Welcome back to the second half of Pro Wrestling Ego right here at the Hideaway in Jackson, Mississippi. That music right there is none other than the mightiest of the Ducks, Orion Taylor. Even though Orion's in the house, it's going to be a good time. Always a fan favorite here at Pro Wrestling Ego. Greeting the crowd. Joe, if people want to find you on uh, Twitter, where do they hit you up at? Well, you can uh, follow me at house show underscore Joe. You can find That's me. With J O and E. And then E. And the uh, with an umlaut. Uh, you can no find me. No umlaut. Oh, Jesus, I told you to get that umlaut. You can find me at house show underscore Corey. You can find the main account at house show pod. We're on most of your. Uh, Leading podcast places, mm -hmm. your Anchor.fm, your iTunes, yep, your Google, your Googles. Yep. 
I would like to stand up in the porch and like give you my rematch. I would, I would ask for my rematch. There we go. Several people have been asking for rematches. I've been hearing a lot of weird things about O'Shea. I don't know. trying to get up under Fury's skin and eliminate Fury's mind. So I'm here tonight to also play my buddy, Geek Geek. Geek Geek. You know, and uh, O'Shea. Hey. Jesus, Joe, pick up the pace. Mm. It's so damn creepy when you do that. What? I'm giving the two yeets. <laughs> it's like listening to a song in a dissonant chord. Oh, okay. O'Shea Edwards coming down the silver tongue devil. It is a good song. This is how one gets hyped. Absolutely. You know, when I, when I used to uh, wrestle, I would listen to Rage Against the Machine before yeah, I'd you go would. out. Yeah, you would. Best track, go. <laughs> uh, usually it was Bulls on Parade. Nice. Yeah, that usually well got done. the job done. <clears throat> O'Shea Edwards, fan favorite. Never at a loss for words. Never at a loss in the ring. There it is. O'Shea is not a man uh, who is uh, willing to just let someone come down to the ring, start talking about him on the mic, and just not come down and say something about it. No, I mean, and that's fair. So here he is. So here he is. With a response. Absolutely. Styles Championship, nothing to uh, stuff in a locker away from the limelight. Uh-oh. Well. That's true. It's like when mom and dad fight, <laughs> watching Orion and O'Shea in the same ring. I, I believe he did. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, I'm serious. I think he did. No, I know, Joe. So true. No, it is. Alright, so it looks like O'Shea has answered Orion's call. Okay, so we're going to see that match tonight. Uh, uh, I, we may not have wait, to wait long. Wait. Okay, so O'Shea asking Ray Fury to make his way down to the ring. Calling out Ray, you call for the Fury. You're going to get you Ray Fury. It. Yes, sir.
Ray Fury also not a hard, hard man to find around these parts. Not so much. You'll, if you come to Pro Wrestling Ego, you're going to see a lot of Ray Fury. Ray Fury merchandise. Ray Fury himself. My young son you'll got his first picture with Ray Fury tonight. See him beforehand. You'll see him in intermission. You'll see him in three or four matches. Kissing hands, shaking babies. He actually does the valet parking. There's no valet parking at the hideaway. Ray you mean Fury. I just gave Ray yeah. Fury my keys? Ray Fury just Dang took it. your car. He'll give it back. He's a nice I guy. Did it again. He's a nice guy. The car's going to end up in Louisiana. If you're lucky. Can I get two claps in a yeet yeet? Yeet. Oh, Jesus, you got knocked that off. I'm going to hear that shit in my sleep. <laughs> Say the second. You don't have to. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Nails on the chalkboard. Oh my. O'Shea Edwards. Wow. Being called a, a snake. Oh, how dare you, sir. Um, and Ray asking for a chair. I digress, because at the same time, I love you, O'Shea, you're my boy too. So I'm stuck in the middle. Yep. Orion, Here he is, title. stuck in the middle. With you. Clowns to the left. <laughs> Jokers to the right. <laughs> let me give you a quick <laughs> I think Orion's I to the left of him and O'Shea's to the right. That was my first singles title, and I had to give it up. I, I got a feeling that something ain't right. We, we, we can't keep going with that. We don't have the copyright, Joe. What? Yep. I'm not singing it. Doesn't matter. These are words that I'm saying. In no particular order. Okay. Ray offering O'Shea a chair. If you're going to stab me in the back, do it right here. And Orion is excusing himself, but leaving his sword and the microphone in there. O'Shea weighing his options and weighing the chair. He's weighing it. O'Shea tosses the chair away. Stands here at the hideaway right now. I know. But you can't stab him in the back and the front at the same time. I got a long enough sword. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. It's, you're not wrong. I know. Okay, so O'Shea has basically said, let's turn this into a triple threat match for the Styles Championship. All right, so O'Shea Edwards, wow. Ray Fury. It, it, no, it doesn't work that, like that. And, <laughs> and Orion Taylor facing up tonight in a triple for the Styles Championship. Lots of stuff happening here at the Highway. It'll be our folks. main event. I can't wait for this to happen. Absolutely. All these guys one on one. Great match for the end, but all three together vying for that championship, it's going to be a hell of a thing. And I know it's a challenge, but that's the kind of man that O'Shea Edwards is. Yep. He's going to take care of all of his business here tonight. Very true. Clean up all of this to the left, all of this to the right. Here he is, holding that belt high in the middle. 
by himself. I'm just giving you. I'm giving you a chance. You did. Yeah. You did. Yes. And it happened. Yep. And okay. you just stood there and witnessed it. I did. I'm standing because I don't like You knew that it was down. a moment of glory. Uh huh. And of genius. And you knew better. Mm hmm. I sure did. For the first time ever. Yeah, that's me. Knowing better. I'm having fun tonight. <laughs> I just, I'll, I'll, I'm going to say that right here. I'm having a good time. Hey, that's all that matters. If you're having a good time, to we're me, all having it is. a good time. At this point, yep. I had better be having a good time. Exactly. All right. Scott, back in the ring. This, is, uh, this, this chair is not, okay. is not comfortable in and of itself, so I'm going to have fun. This music. Oh. Yeah. Soothing the savage beast. Well, this beast does not get saved and solved that easily. We know the nightmare is coming up with that sound. Remember when Mick Foley would come in? Do one song, and then after he applied the mandible claw and won, this soothing music would play afterwards to calm him to back calm down. Him, yeah. yeah, no, not, it makes not sense for the nightmare. Psychologically. It can't be easy to climb downstairs with a towel over your head. Nightmare with uh, pranks and jinx and somebody else. There's three of them now. Well, all right. There's three of them? Well, no, there's Pranks and Jinx. Somebody with a mask. I'm not sure who that is. The Nightmare Jeremiah making his way to the ring. I kind of hope his name is like uh, Steve or something. I think Pranks just went under the ring. He does that. Yeah. Again, we, we're not sure which one's which, folks. We're just throwing it out there. Franks has got a hold of Cowboy Scott's one of, the, boot. one of the things is grabbing Scott. That's not right. One of the things. Thing one and thing two. One of the mares. <laughs> yeah, why not? The thing with the mask is kind of pole dancing now, and I'm, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> Where's the other one? I guess he's still under I the ring. I can't keep track of all of these guys. The other one's under the ring. You sure? Yeah. So I'm crawl under there. I am at a loss for words. <laughs> and that doesn't happen often, folks. Nope. 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 All right. Not, not so the uh, <laughs> the other two roll out there. Now we got nightmare. Not familiar with this music. His opponent from Calhoun, Mississippi, the Bulldog, Chris Evans. Bulldog making his way to the ring for the first time here at Pro Wrestling Ego. Big boy, mighty big boy. Oh, Chris Evans. Homegrown boy. Yep, absolutely. We grow on big down here. Yes, we do. Bulldog open. He has not bitten off more than he can chew with Nightmare here. Yeah, Ooh, that's right. Look at you. You saw it Ooh. right there from page 12. Yep, that was good. In my book. I'm not sure Bulldog does know what he's in I for. I really don't. No. <laughs> We've watched. Not exactly sure if he knows what he's getting himself into, but I, he is. Uh, he I looks think, prepared. I think Nightmare just licked the ref. And that's a shame. And that's called for a tetanus shot, too. Uh, I'm not sure for who, though. It might be tetanus shots all around. That sounds like a party. I've been to that party. <laughs> Bet you have. It was not a good party. Nope. All 
All right, Bulldogs in. Bulldog getting checked. Joe, are you Bulldog breaking my equipment? The, Bulldog at the vet. Getting checked. Getting his shots. Now we're in the cone of shame, so he's already been uh, fixed. Ooh. And there's the bell. It's a shame. This, is, this keeps happening. What do you, what do you, oh, okay. Well, here, I'll get, I can fix that. Uh. There you go, Joe. That's why I'm the sound guy. Just expecting too much out of it, maybe. And I think you were. All right. Bulldog starts off. Bulldog biting the hand of Jeremiah. No, it's not always. Oh, that, okay. it's not always that a nightmare has somebody uh, to match up with that really gives him a, a challenge in terms of size. Yeah, absolutely, size-wise, be evenly matched. Jeremiah's got a couple of inches on him. Yeah, yeah, throwing Jeremiah into the corner really doesn't do that much to him. Nope. He lives for it. Uh, I think Pranks just stole Cowboy Scott's hat. Now he's going back under the ring. Jeremiah, up and down. Good heavens. Going for the pin. Yeah, not even one, no, really. No, that happens. It's going to take a lot more than that, Bulldog. Chris Evans into the corner. You know, it's not even that many people who can flip Jeremiah over like that. Nope, absolutely not. Now, ref... With as many cats as you got on the outside, you need to be watching everything. All right, so Bulldog controlling right now. Some kicks. Scott has been able to regain his hat, however. Oh, my. Oh, what a quick chop to the back. First one. Science. Zoom tight. Really, four of them? Four of them? That's impressive, Joe. <laughs> There's number five. Listen here. <laughs> Don't challenge me. There will be more. Good night. Oh, oh, raking the back of the bulldog. Ref's got to get some type of decorum here. I don't know to how, the how you expect the ref to actually get into the middle of these Nightmare coming two up. Uh, sides Stiff of beef. kick to the side of the head. That jinx on the outside over there. I don't. I don't know. I'm paying attention to what's going on inside the ring. I'm trying to at least. He just. He just sniff checked himself. Well, sometimes you gotta. Put on the deodorant. Sometimes you gotta. Bulldog, some stiff kicks to the side of the head there, trying to back Jeremiah off. I think they've stolen the uh, steps to get into the ring. Handed it off to uh, the other guy. Maskey? Sure. Let's go with Maskey. Maskey Mask. Yep. Uh, Bulldog out to the outside. It's Masky Mask and the Funky One Shot. I think that's copyrighted. Mm. Uh, by who? Someone. Nightmare backing the ref into the corner and, and smelling him. I, it's just disturbing. The ref right, has Axe, 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 Axe Brody spray on. I mean, <laughs> he might. He could be worse things. It's a big night. It's a big night for the ref. So. Nightmare. Sizing him up. Oh, cannonball oh right there on the parquet. Is the ref even counting anymore? There he goes. Three. All right. It's counting. Nightmare's got a hold of a Bulldog's shirt. Wraps it around his throat. Oh my. There it is. Oh, 
And one of the uh, underlings with a stiff kick to the side. Is that Masky Mask? Masky Mask is it, yep. Nightmare's got him. Masky Mask seems to be worshiping Nightmare. Well, might as well. Right into the corner of the ring post. The ref has not been keeping a good job, but they're only at five right there. And it's he breaks the count. It's difficult to do a, do a good job when people keep sniffing you. This is how is it it? I, I feel like that's true in daily life as well. I mean, you might be right. Imagine a job and imagine how much more difficult it becomes if somebody is sniffing you. Up and over. Just all that weight right on to the solar plexus. Nightmare with the cover one, two. And Bulldog. Grabs you know, I heard rope. two or I heard four or five there on that that three count. I think match should be over, right? Do you? Well, I heard them. Okay. You're listening for that one, two, three. There were like there's seven. Only two. There's only two. I think some of them were by Jinx. <laughs> it probably was. Uh, I believe that might be uh, Jinx wearing Bulldog, Bulldog shirt. shirt, doing a, a lousy impression. Uh, Bulldog steps out of the way of Nightmare. Bulldog scoops up Nightmare. Good heavens. You don't see many goodness. people able to do that and deposits him right in the middle of the ring. Wow. Good heavens. That That's is impressive. Some power. Yep. Both men coming in with the same idea. And again... Meeting of the minds right there in the center of the ring. Yep. Bulldog. Off the ropes. Up and slammed down. Just a little bit of assistance. Helping out gravity there. Indeed. Up goes Nightmare. Oh my goodness. Rolling headbutt. Calling for something. Nightmare, sizing up his opponent. Uh, I think we're getting a stretch here. Pulling Bulldog back. Getting the neck there. Oh, just elbow driving that across elbow. that forehead. Oh, good heavens. Pull your head back far enough, you get a good look at that elbow coming down towards your face. Right, and you don't want that. No. Running Bulldog right there. Takes down Jeremiah. Yep. Quick cover one. And yeah. even one. Not quick enough. These two big boys slugging at each other. It really, really becomes part of the question is who's going to run out of gas first? I've yet to see Jeremiah run out of gas well, ever. That's, that's what I'm feeling, but. Yeah. We'll see. I think Bulldog's definitely feeling it. Woo! Like a cat. Oh. High leg. Man, that big Irish throwing whip. a foot that high. That's ridiculous. Coming down with God. a hard clothesline. Almost a lariat in style. Putting all the laundry on that clothesline. Jeremiah just waiting Call it out. Call the neighbors up. Have them bring their laundry over. Why not? And here we go. One, two, I mean, my dryer is broken. I should bring my laundry over here. Hang up, I'm up on that clothesline. I mean, if don't you need me, to. Don't hit me with that silence. Don't you, look at me. If don't, you need to. Don't silence me like that. <laughs> Too late. Silencer. Jeremiah with that sleeper hold. Starting to wear Bulldog down. Bulldog was already hurting. Closing off those windpipe. Back into the corner. Gets out of it. Amazingly. Slowly good, good and counter, right back in. You can counter it, but you can't leave yourself wide open. No, for absolutely, it again. absolutely not. Amazingly, Bulldog's able to get him off again. Jeremiah right, right back, back in. in. <laughs> good heavens. A little applause from the uh, the crowd outside. Peanut gallery, as it were. Is he wearing Bulldog's shirt again? Yes. I don't think he's taking it off. Oh, my. Oh my. Spear. Woo. Oh. Close. Very I'm close. Caught Jeremiah not paying attention. Oh, ref's having some problems with these uh, fellows on the outside. Yep. Two, 
Two count again. Bulldog looking a little discouraged. Aw. I mean, it happens. Sizing him up. Yep. Uh, pranks and jinx. Go for mask. the distraction. Uh, the other guy's over in the other corner. I'm not sure what they hope to accomplish there. Nice hip toss from Bulldog. Bulldog up. Belly to Full belly. slam. Good heavens. Nice. Another scoop up. Uh, can you do a third? Uh, deposits him right nice. down. A lot of power in Bulldog. Bulldog back in the corner. Uh, they got Cowboy Scott's hat again. He's revving it up. Do they know how much he paid for that thing? I mean, that's a lot of money. Stetsons do not come cheap. Uh, Bulldog getting wrapped up by um, Masky Mask. <laughs> Coming in. Oh, out. dives through. Met to the corner. Nightmare pulls him out of there. Yep. Nightmare's got him. Uh, here we go. Stretching out that back. Swing around. Oh. DDT. That's it, folks. One, two, three. And that is really it. Is Nightmare it. is the winner over the Bulldog. Chris Evans. Again, the left-hand path making their presence known here in Pro Wrestling Ego. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, accompanied by the Brotherhood of Jesters. The Brotherhood of Jesters. 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 The guy with the funny hat. The the oh, a jester. Oh, yes. Thank you. Not gestures. <laughs> it could be. Uh, they gave a lot of gestures tonight. That is true. Yep. Not denying that. Uh, the ref being kicked out of the ring. Or he left it his own accord. Could be either one. Jeremiah making his way out. The jesters having their way with the bulldog. Bulldog looks like he got his senses back somewhat. It's not hard enough to deal with Jeremiah. Right. That's a nightmare in clowns. and of itself, but now you got to deal with this brotherhood oh, of Jesters. Bulldog with a spear. Oh. Uh, one of the Jesters kicked the other one. Not sure. Standing over Bulldog right now. That'll sure show him. Not sure exactly what's <laughs> happening now. I don't think they know either. But Jeremiah is back. I mean, yeah, he's got to get his... Well, Bulldog's waiting for him, too. And one of the... That jester seems to... Goodness! That jester, I think, is uh, is a double agent. He may very well be. Wait Who for is it? it? Takes off the mask. It's shaky! It is shaky <laughs> McMullen. My God! We had no idea. Shaky. So there we have it, Shaky McMullen challenging the Nightmare Jeremiah to a match in Pilahatchee. Well, good for him. Why not? <laughs> Double agent. Shaky, the man of behind the mask. That takes some dedication to spend that amount of time with the uh, Brotherhood of Gestures. It sure does. Well, good for him. But nevertheless, Jeremiah is the winner tonight. Sure. Thank you, Scott. Yes, he does. They all do. Well, never a dull moment here at the Hideaway in Jackson, Mississippi, Pro Wrestling Ego. Double agents, men in masks. And some classical music. Nightmares, some dreams. Some left hand paths. Jackson's hottest club. <laughs> <laughs> Scott. 
Scott claimed that that made sense now. Well, I think he's he's making reference to Shaky attacking now, the other now two and then unmasking himself. Now it's clear what has happened. Well. Really? I just got my, I just got my out of here. Yeah. And here comes the left-hand path. Eric the Ghost Silva, Zombie Dragon. Coming to the ring at this time. Zombie Dragon with that flaming book again. I love it. How can you read like that? Like, just get one of the clip-on lights. I mean, you don't have to worry about light. You got it right there. How can you see through the flame? Very carefully. Are there any words in that book? Probably not. It's mostly pictures. I assume it's a cookbook. Anarchist cookbook? Could be. Yep. Eric to go Silva and Zombie Dragon, I, the current tag team holders, along with Jeremiah. I do appreciate that they use this love song as their entrance. It's sweet, isn't it? Precious. I like it. Zombie Dragon sliding his way into the ring. That guy's a creepy mess. I like it. one for the kids right here. Absolutely. An audience letting them know what they think about them. Scott, you're right there. <laughs> You gotta watch your back when you're in there with the left hand path. Sure. All right, now their opponents. Introducing first the okay. the Prince of Hearts out of Cecilia, Louisiana, Braxton Hunter. Braxton Hunter. Introducing next, the Dark Horse out of New Orleans, Louisiana, Nick Marcos. Hunter and Marcos taking on Zombie Dragon and the Ghost. New guys to the area. We've never seen Hunter and Marcos before. Looking forward to these guys. I know that Marcos has fought Ray Fury a couple of times. And if Ray vouches for him, then he's all right in my book. Does your book have flames? I wish. Make it a whole lot cooler. Mine's just got uh, a... Not cooler. Mine's got a Hello Kitty be, sticker uh, on the front. <laughs> to say hang loose? No, that's what the poster on my wall says. It's just a Hello Kitty hang notebook. I'm there. not weird. Um, are we taking a vote on that? Or we I'd rather not. I understand. That's wise. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind you, as always, that any of our tag titles or any of our championships, every one of them is a championship match whenever the, the titles the belt are holder. represented. So okay. So this is match. for the belts. Silva having a conversation with Cowboy Scott. All right, so Hunter and Marcos have a chance at these belts. Belts held high for all to see. They're nice looking titles. belts, too. They're good looking belts. titles are up for grabs. Yep, here we go. Who's going to start us off here?
Hunter starting off against Zombie Dragon. Ref calls for the bell and is heard. Here we go. Zombie Dragon is just one of those guys. And the way he moves around the ring is really just not like anybody else that we have here at Pro Wrestling. Yeah, I like it with that kind of uh, that Nazgul mask that he has. Tape always askew. Oh! Leg takedown. Braxton Hunter just really taking it to Zombie Dragon here to start off this well, I match. I don't think Braxton came here to play around. I mean, you got the belt Absolutely on the line. not. Hunter making his way over to the tag. Marcus has been tagged in. Comes Dark Horse, lining it up. Send it off. Oh, uh, okay. All right, it still wow. worked. Ooh. It's okay. Uh, Hunter's got some uh, some red on his chest. I think that's from Zombie Dragon. Uh, measuring him out. Diving, Diving through the second rope. Oh, right down to on the, the ground. Outside. Listen, folks, if you're gonna come out here to Pro Wrestling Ego at the Hideaway, and if you've got small children, maybe stay off the front row. That's Especially just, to this side of the ring. It's like going to a Gallagher show and not bringing a tarp if you're on the front. It's the splash zone. You might get hit. Unless that's what you're paying for. Joe, is Gallagher still performing? Or is his twin brother taking over the act? Not at this moment. Okay. I well, think, no, not in the ring. I think he's off this weekend. Okay. That's I'm good. I'm pretty sure he is still performing. But, uh, but it's his twin brother. What? Did you know that? No. Gallagher has a twin brother. Why? And he sold his... Why are there two of them? He's, he sold his whole routine to his brother... And now Gallagher is traveling with, I kid you not, the Insane Clown Posse. What? Yeah, buddy. Shut up. I can't. It's true. Hunter. He's a juggalo? Deppy. He loves the juggalos. He's been at the gathering of the juggalos for the past, like, no eight years. Way. Yeah, He's, like, man. 100 years old. I didn't say he had common sense, but he's there. Oh. Zombie Dragon's arm out of socket. He pops it right back in, like the freak that he is. Goodness. And there goes Hunter right to the ground. Reciprocation. And biting on his arm. Ref, you can't let that happen. I don't think you can stop it. Zombie Dragon is going to do what Zombie Dragon wants to Zombie do. Zombie Dragon do what he do. Hunter with that high knee back. There's Flying the tag. tag. Eric to go Silva. Flying in wait. Yeah, why not? That was... And there we go. I don't know what that was. Nope. Cutting off the wind right there of... Hunter going down. Eric Silva just biding his time as he always does. Oh my. Marco's just Silva waiting just, for that tag. Silva's just finding just the right spots to, to hit. Well, Hunter. That's, that's the thing about Silva. Is, uh, that's why he got the moniker of the ghost. You know, he lays in wait, he hides out. You're not expecting anything, then he pops out. Oh, just work it over that arm like a part-time job. <laughs> Braxton Hunter begging for some relief. Oh, it just drops down. Going for the cover. Nope. Two count. I think Marcos Braxton just, may be legitimately yeah. hurt here. Yeah. There's a Braxton's, Braxton's hurting. Zombie Dragon just, just clawing at him, biting at him. Marcos just itching to get in there. I can imagine Zombie Dragon whispering something into your ear in the middle of a match, like a complicated math problem or I something, like and you're like, what are, you, what are you talking about? And there he's up. The ghost laying him down. Uh, folks, we're joined by a special guest here. What's up, gentlemen? What's happening, Shaky? Sh oh, oh, you know, just the same old stuff, different day. You know, you kind of you kind of threw us for a loop there, Shaky. Uh, we didn't know it was you, which I think was probably the whole point. Oh yeah, you know, little, little element of surprise. <laughs> yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. 
Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, Nightmare like that too. Yeah, he I'm, looked like he was really thrilled with uh, with you uh, turning the uh, the tables on him, as it was. Yeah, but uh, let me tell you something. The, 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 I, when I jumped that hijinks guy in the back, man, you know, I didn't know if his clothes were gonna fit me. <laughs> you know what? But you wore it well. Thank Still you. not sure that they fit you. <laughs> hey, listen, well, not that I, I, you know, I'll be honest with you. They didn't. <laughs> <laughs> How did they smell? You know what? Don't answer that. Um, <laughs> I don't want to know. About as well as those hygiene folks looked underneath. Okay. Ew. Gotcha. Ew. Noted. Yeah. So uh, next Saturday, Pilahatchee, you and Jeremiah one on one. Yep. Yep. Uh, well, no, not one on one. Okay. It's gonna, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a six man tornado. Oh tag my goodness. Okay. With no ropes, street fight. Street fight with the the boot boys against the left hand path. Or as uh, as me and my brothers like to call it, it's an Abbey Street fight. I like it. An Abbey Street fight it is. Yeah. Yeah, good yeah. deal. Well, we're looking forward to that one. That's going to be a good time. Now, what kind of uh, mentality do you have going into a fight like that against the left-hand path? Uh, well, in this particular case, it's a uh, no-lose mentality. Uh, yeah. Um, for the there's pin. a lot on the line. If if we let me, we ain't, we ain't good. Man, <laughs> what am I? <laughs> You talk, you talk bad about yourself. You can't do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm going back into them old ways. Of, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Go Silva still taking care of business on uh, Braxton Hunter here in the ring. Yeah. Braxton fighting back with those injured limbs. Ah, there he goes. Uh -oh, no. Ghost has got him up. Oh, oh, right so close to the corner. corner. I'm going to make him pay next week for that. I think you should. Because that ring is not cheap. And I have a little surprise for a uh, zombie dragon out there next is, week. Is that right? Oh, yeah. You, you want to give us a hint? Oh, no. Okay. Is, it, is no, it like no, no. a Christmas present? Belated. <laughs> Belated. Belated Christmas gift. All right. I can Some do that. Some people see, see. have Christmas in their heart all year round, and I, I feel like the boot boys, you could say. <laughs> well, you could consider me uh, that the left-hand paths Krampus. There you go. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> uh, but, uh. I mean, seeing how the last time I was in the ring with them, they did leave me lying. Yep. In a pool of a I green. don't want to know what. Yeah, whatever it is that Zombie Dragon spews forth from that maw of his. But he didn't spew it, just though. went through his uh, his uh, second wind there, and, it <laughs> and ended he got up the wind the same sucked the right out of him. Wind. Yeah. Yeah. Braxton needs to watch them teeth. That's for sure. Marcos just waiting. Poor guy. He wants to help. Of course, just trying to get the crowd in. Oh, oh. my. <laughs> is that, what does that feel like when you're on the, on the receiving end of something like that? Well, <laughs> it don't um, feel good. It feels like a, a, a field full of daisies <laughs> smacking you in the face. <laughs> just, just daisies. All right. I can do that. At about that. 100 miles an hour. Roughly. <laughs> Only roughly that. <laughs> Not softly. You know, do you know how hard it is to hide this this fat fatness back here in like, spandex? Not yeah. I mean, <laughs> like couldn't breathe. It's getting all stuffy. Honestly, thought I was losing my mind. It's like a hug, right? Like just a really tight hug at all times. Like a hug from a plastic bag. <laughs> and then right across your face. Right, right, right across. What is visibility like in one of those masks, Shaky? Blurry. Yeah. Muggy. Oh, my goodness. So it's like being back in high school at a party? He's not even tagged in, Only but Nick Marcos swirly. is taking all types of stuff from the path right now. Marcos on the outside. Oh. Right on that same right arm. Braxton screaming in pain, which is like the sound of laughter to Zombie Dragon. Quick headbutt. Tag in to the ghost. Marco still hasn't made it up off the floor to get back into position. I mean, would you? I wouldn't, but we know. <laughs> well, uh, well, I, I would be I'm in a corner. Run off before uh, the rest of the path. I mean, I, All right, shaky. I'm mumbling over there. There's Vaya a lot of us, my friend. We'll see you next time. Ten and four. I'll see you next week. Oh. Out of desperation, Braxton Hunter. 
cross body on both members of the pack. Everybody down. Desperately crawling his way across the ring to trying to get to Marcos to get that tag. He does, he makes it. Here Very comes nice. the dark horse. Marcos Ooh. running ruck shot. Everybody's down. Been storing up this energy for a while. He tags back in Braxton Hunter, but only to send him. Tosses a silver boot to the face for the pin. Oh, no, almost my. three. Quick two. Silva kicks out. But again, we're leaving Braxton Hunter back in the ring again. It's not necessarily Doesn't know wise what idea. to do. Oh, zombie dragon swinging. What is that? Is that a, a machete? How the hell do you get a machete into the hideaway? Oh, there it is. Ghost Silva takes advantage the one, two, of the distraction. Three. Braxton Hunter is the victim and the recipient. And I would have to look at the rule book for Pro Wrestling Ego, I but I didn't know that's... you could use a machete distraction. In I mean, you usually can't use a machete anywhere. In a title match. <sighs> Left hand path still retaining tag team champions. They are your pro wrestling ego tag team champions, whether you like it or not. I don't like it. Machete in tow. Fast continue to stand over Braxton Hunter. They had it in for him this evening and he got all of it. Nick Marco still on the outside. The dark horse has been down. Eric Silva blowing kisses. Pretty pleased with what they've done here tonight. Successfully defended the tag team champion. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners. Cowboy Scott reluctantly and calling it. Eric the Ghost Silva. And Zombie Dragon. And zombie Dragon. The Pack. All right. Well, it was good to see Marcos and Hunter. Hopefully, Eric. we'll see him again. Eric, you didn't have to kill him. 